Security First Corp. Safety through knowledge. How to test a PoE switch? If you're setting up a network and need to ensure your power over Ethernet PoE switch is working correctly, you're in the right place. Let's break down the steps to test your PoE switch effectively. First, you need to make sure your switch actually supports PoE. Not all switches have this feature, so it's crucial to check the specifications of your device. If your switch does support PoE, look for the specific ports that are designated for PoE. These are usually marked differently from the standard Ethernet ports. To start testing, you'll need a few tools. One common tool is a cable tester, like the Fluke Microscanner 2. This device can help you verify if PoE is working on a particular port. Begin by connecting one end of your Ethernet cable to the PoE port on the switch and the other end to the Microscanner 2. Make sure the Microscanner is set to the PoE testing mode. You'll hear a relay click when you switch to this mode. Once you've connected everything, plug the Ethernet cable into a PoE port on the switch. If PoE is working, the Microscanner will show the PoE voltage and indicate which cables are carrying the power. If you plug the cable into a non-PoE port, you won't see any voltage readings, confirming that the port does not support PoE. Another handy tool for testing PoE is the Link Sprinter. This device can tell you in just a few seconds if proper power is being provided to the port. It also tests the network link and reports on the voltage level at the wall jack, which is important because power can dissipate as it travels down the wire. The Link Sprinter is small, easy to use, and can even run off PoE itself, eliminating battery life concerns. When testing, it's important to check for common issues such as distance limitations. PoE is subject to the same 100 meter limit as standard network cables. Also, ensure there's no incompatibility between the powered device PD and the power sourcing equipment PSE, and that the switch's power budget is not oversubscribed. For more detailed testing, you might use a device like the Fluke Network's Link IQ Cable Plus Network Tester. This tool can receive discovery protocol packets from the switch and place a load on the connection to ensure the advertised power is being delivered. It shows which pairs of the network cable are carrying power, the negotiated power class, and the loaded power in watts. If you're troubleshooting, remember to check the switch configuration and ensure power is not disabled for the port you're testing. Most PSEs have a software configuration utility that allows you to turn power on and off for individual ports. This can be useful if you need to isolate the issue without affecting other links. In summary, testing a PoE switch involves using the right tools to verify that power is being delivered to the correct ports, checking for common issues, and ensuring compatibility between devices. By following these steps, you can ensure your PoE setup is working smoothly and efficiently. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.